I've tried so much before. What's the best diet? Why are you different? That was a question that I had yesterday. And about someone thinking about joining Fruity Fit. And actually, I think my answer surprised them a little bit because I said, actually, we haven't got like a set diet. Like this isn't the diet, the plan that's going to work for you because it depends. Do you like fasting? Do you struggle with snacking? Do you like having breakfast? Do you not like having breakfast? Do you eat out a lot? Do you have real sociable weekends and maybe you need a different strategy during the week? Are you busy at work so you maybe don't have that much time to eat, eat during the day? Or maybe you pick when you do. Are you out and about? Are you traveling a lot? These are all things that come into it and it depends on your goal. Like it's not like there's no point calorie counting really if your goal is just to increase your strength, increase your fitness a little bit. Let's just focus on the nutrients that are coming in. Are we getting enough protein? Are we fueling our workouts with some carbohydrates? Are we fueling our um, day with certain nutrients that are going to make us feel better, like that work for some and, and don't work for others? If your goal is weight loss, well, is there a habit-based approach that we can work on both? Similar to what I talk about in the book, in our habit book, which is just up there. Copies up there. If you want one, by the way, free copy, just comment below the book. And I'll send that over to you. That'll be an e-copy, by the way. You can get the hard copy as well, which I can send you a link to. It's also on Amazon for like three pounds. Just basically covers shipping, posting. So these habit base will be things that you can apply into your day without really thinking about, without it being the perfect time. Even if like you can't change what you eat, these are habits that will help you. For example, like sitting down when you eat, making sure that when you're there eating that you're aware of how much you're eating these are just little things that you can apply in without changing massively what you eat already so but however if if you get to the end of that well there's going to be a case where we need to collect data so it becomes like a two-way street right like if we've tried everything you've tried everything we're gonna to have to go right we're gonna to have to get a bit more specific in here now maybe we count calories for a period of time okay are you willing to do that Let's do this. Now, let's have a look at your protein intake. Let's be as consistent as possible. So we can collect data and look at how you respond. Because it might be, and I say this to some the other day, they're like, oh, here's my food diary. What, do you, what should I do now? And I said, well, what was your results? Well, I lost two pounds, feeling good, feeling fit, perform really well. But what do I need to change? I was like, nothing. Actually, that's fine. Keep going. What, why change anything? If you find it easy, you're not hungry, you're satisfied, you're getting results. Keep going. And that's where it's different. I'm not going to say, you need to cut out this. You've had a Coke there. You've had a this there. Because actually, that might be keeping them going and they're getting results. And actually, their goal is losing body fat. And they're losing body fat. They're 80% of their diet. Whole foods, nutritious. We're on to something here. And they're sticking to it. Even if it was 70%, even if it was 60% whole foods. Actually, the, the process of losing body fat is probably healthier for them than it is worrying about the itsy bitsy bits in on there. So, hope that helps. That's the best diet, the one that works for you and the one that you do, even when you're busy, even when you're stressed.